Well, squirrel season opens tomorrow here. Uh, also, bow hunting for deer. Yeah, you can do that. I actually would like to get me a bow and try a bow. Hold on. Hold on, bow. Because I'd like to uh, just see what I could hit with it. I don't think I want to shoot Bambi, though. Or his mama and daddy. But Jeff, he's probably going to take... Oh, Carl <laughs> Carly, uh, squirrel hunting. Tomorrow, she's all excited. But we set our deer cam out, and we're gonna check it and see what we got on it. You check. That looks like a big one. Look, you come through here. We're going here. Maybe I got deer on my cam. Probably ain't no deer where I was feeding. Do you turn it off first? Uh-uh. Just push the thing out? Yep. What's it say? Uh oh, we might have messed up. Take it out. I think we might have, you're supposed to maybe push the power button first. I asked you before I did it. Yeah, I know, I wasn't thinking too clearly. Yeah, I don't know how to work this. No image. Yeah, we messed up. Jeff so tell them how you screwed up with the. You mean tell them how Jeff screwed up no, with the No, uh, how you messed camera? up with the camera now, and erased you, all the pictures. I asked you, do I just take it out I or turn I it on? I can't believe it. <laughs> or push the button. Why you uh, want to do that? Now, you know why? Because I see deer tracks. I know, and this camera's around. been out for two weeks and you erased all so, my pictures. We can't turn our feet are back on. This is the first time, so I'll probably messed up this too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what, well, righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're going to have to do it. It's wires. Right. All right, now, what you got to do is, set. I guess you're going to learn how to do this. Set. Yeah, probably. All right, now, that's the one for 6.30 in the morning. Now, yes, we want it to feed, so we're going to hit it again. So push that again. All right, now push up until it gets to, like, no, let's, let's uh, go for like four seconds. That's good enough. Okay. But right now, all we're doing is, is we're setting it, see? Hit the set button. And then it swings it out. And, yeah, for four seconds at 6.30 in the morning. Okay, now hit set again so we can show people how these things work. Yeah, you hit put, put, set. It, 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 all right. It says 6.30 a.m. Right. Set timer one. Right. And then we want it to. No, 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 we, you already got that one. Hit set again. Why you want to be all? Hit set again. Hit it again. Now that's four seconds. Hit it four again. Four seconds. See, if you want to, you can set it that on that one, but we don't. Keep going. Yeah. You can, and that would be how many seconds you would want but to set it But we don't want to do it. 12 o'clock in a day. We don't you know, want to do it. You can change the time to up or down yeah. on the times like that, see? But, and then you hit set again, and it tells you it'll be for right. how long you would want it to, to feed for, how, many, how long it wanted to throw corn out. You get what I'm saying? Got it. You got that? Got it. All right, but we only want it to, for the one for 6.30 I mean, in the and morning. And you can set it to feed a bunch of times, like obviously. Three so or, you just I think it's it like on? three or four times. Yeah. So now that you got it set for uh, four seconds at 6.30 in the morning, that'll be good enough. It'll just sprinkle a little corn at 6.30 in the morning. Got that? You understand how it works now? I got it, sir. I'm happy to see tracks, though. Yeah, I'm pissed that you erased my card, though. I mean, that camera's been out for two weeks. There's tracks around here, and you erased the card. <laughs> I don't want to kill Bambi. You're not. Me and Carly are. But he will taste good in my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alrighty, let's go scouting. Look. 
See, that's what I'm saying. Walk right at the damn camera and the See, feeder. There's the feeder. Yeah, I know. And, he walk, and there's and the camera the over there. Look, I can't believe you erased the card. I'd like to have seen what there it was. Yeah, I know. Why you do that? I can't believe you did that. You did that. I didn't do that. Bad, bad. Oh, I hate walking through the woods. Why? Spider webs. I thought you liked the woods. Watch. I'm gonna walk into a web and I'm gonna grab the spot. Look, see the web? And I'm gonna throw the spider on you. Uh huh. I like turtles. I get the turtle. <laughs> Knock on You're the door. You're supposed to be able to see how old they are by the number of rings that. on the top. Not on the top. Something like that. It's these. <clears throat> is that what it is? I think. I don't know. I'm You're not a turtle a, expert. I'm not a turtle expert. That's what I'm supposed to say. Knock on his door and see if he's home. Are you in there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we gonna let him go? No. Take him home for the dog to eat. No. <laughs> 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 Take him home, let the kids write on him and paint yeah, him. Yeah, color him, go. him in different colors. Yeah, all right, let's go. You want me to let him go down here? Yeah, it's 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 safer down here than on the road where you found him. Bye, fellow. What is that? Coon track. No, that's not a cane. What is that? A kitty? Yep. Is that a kitty kitty? That's a bobcat. Bobcat track. How you know? That's a coon track. I don't know. It might be a coon track. Yeah. Oh Lord, that's a big frog. Hold on, hold on, let me get. Oh. Hold on, where do you where where do you right at? there next to the pine cone. Where where at? Right there next to the pine cone. I don't see him. Right there, see. Oh yeah. Get him, Heather. Oh, he pissed everywhere. <laughs> Bad. That's how you get warts. No, it ain't. That's a whole wise <laughs> tale. <laughs> Uh, he like jumped and went <laughs> all everywhere. It's a defensive mechanism. Come on. This right here is not a coon track. That is a cat track. It's a bobcat. That's a deer track. No, that's part of the bobcat. No, well, maybe so. He stepped into the bobcat track. But that's a bobcat track. Look over here. That's a big old buck track. Yep. That is a good one. Right next to the big kitty track. Yeah, right next to the bobcat track who was tracking the big buck. <laughs> there is a bobcat here though. Robbie kept telling me he had a bobcat behind his house. Meow. What how do you do it, Heather? Ha, ha, ha.
Big black panther thing jumping. Ow! <laughs> then I'd be running like, ah! <laughs> I, did, I forgot to pack my nine. <laughs> Uh, I just thought about something though. I can't shoot my 12 gauge in the morning. You're gonna have to go up oh, yeah. and sight my Broken 22 for me. Dislocated rib. Yeah, so uh -oh. I can't shoot my 12 gauge. Uh oh. So I got a dislocated rib. Uh -oh. You know, I, I'm gonna need you to. Can you sight you my? You need uh, me to man up. You need, and I, I need you to sight my uh my 22 for me. Make sure it's good to go. Okay, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. I'll go sight it in right now. Okay. What are you doing? Well, I mean, if I'm going to take Carly squirrel hunting tomorrow, I mean, she's got her little 410, but I always carry my gun too, and I'm going to carry a 22, but it seems we put it on the 22's uh, scope on your uh, AR-15. Oh. So, uh, I was just going to, you know, the whole point here is, is I was going to use a 22 because I got a dislocated rib from a sporting accident a golf <laughs> yeah i wouldn't actually don't say it that way you know but uh anyway because people think you know that i'm a wimp because i hurt myself playing golf but i popped a rib out of place and it's like super super uh painful and i didn't figure i'd be able to shoot my four i mean my not 14 my 12 gauge tomorrow but uh with the the scope off the 22 i'm gonna have to see if i can shoot the 12 gauge i guess so, Let's see how this goes. That's this is light load. That's this, a 12 gauge? Yeah, this is a light load, uh, low brass, like burn shot. Oh. Oh, I ain't got no problem. Of course, that was level. Maybe I should have shot like this to see how it's got. It didn't bother me, though. Yay! You can kill squirrels tomorrow. You ready? Yeah. It's the first time I get to check out this red ring uh, 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 shotgun sight, though. Hey, what the hell? It turned itself off. You push the button. It, it does automatically. Turn oh, that's right. Off. Yeah. Can you can you see up through there? Yeah, I see the point at the tree. Yep. You see it? Go down right there. Ah, right, stop. Be still. Go down right there. Cool. Coolest thing about this little ring, uh, red ring, uh, 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 sight though, is is uh, that, that we were given one to try out and see what we thought about it and stuff by the company and uh, to test it and stuff while I get to go and test it tomorrow. Squirrel hunt, uh, squirrel hunting season starts tomorrow. We're gonna try it out on squirrel hunting. It's really, I think, designed for like bird hunting and stuff, really quick acquisition of targets. But the cool thing is, is like with a shotgun, normally what you gotta do is when you bring it up, the first thing to get on target is you find the rib, find the bead, find the target, right? So you come up, find the rib, find the bead, find the target, line all that stuff up. But with this thing, as soon as it starts to come up, if the the red ring in there is on your target, okay, I, oh there it is. If the red ring is on your target, bam, pull away. I mean, you don't have to get straight down the rib and on the bead and stuff like that. As soon as you bring it up, if the ring is on your target, go ahead and pull the trigger. And the other thing is too, is that you keep both eyes open all the time. So it's like when you go to acquire a target, you got both eyes open. It's like, it, as long as you'll be able to see the red ring on your target with both eyes open, you know, it makes it a hell of a lot easier, quicker to make the shot and stuff, more accurate shot. So I'm really excited about trying this thing out hunting. We've done a little bit of target practice with it, but uh, I want to see it skeet. in action. And we shot some skeet with it, but I, I want to see it in action, you know, so, chasing cat squirrels through the trees with it. I mean, so it's if, a tough shot. So. If you kill a squirrel, you're making squirrel gumbo? Yes, but we're hoping to kill more than a squirrel. I hope Carly gets two herself, you know. You're not gonna go with us? No. Maybe maybe I'll take the, being that it's got this red ring sight on there, maybe I can figure out a way to mount the camera on the gun and I can get some videotape, you know, make a squirrel hunting video, show everybody, you know, how we squirrel hunt here in Louisiana, I mean, Carly do. I would like you to go with us, but you don't wanna go? <laughs> I don't wanna go. I can't on, go kill no animal. Shoot some squirrels. I can't kill the cute little squirrel. <laughs> He's too cute. But anyway, I, I know I got a bad rib and stuff, but I'm okay. This, okay. this is not going to tear me up. So I didn't have to sight in that 22 after all. No, we're not sight in the 22 after all. We can go and take a nap now. Not to take no nap. <laughs> we got to go play with Frankie. Oh, that's right. Go play with Frankie. All right, let's go. Yo, Frankie. Go see Frankie. Huh? Oh. Cut to mama. Cut to mama. <laughs> Frankie. 
<laughs> Frankie! <laughs> uh. Okay. He's fluffed up. <laughs> Where are you going, Frankie? <laughs> 